In the last two videos, we've been working with the concept of substitution, and our goal with substitution is to take a complicated integral in terms of the original variable, maybe it's x, maybe it's t, and put it in terms of a simple integral in terms of u. These simple integrals are ones where we can do the antiderivative just from our basic power rule or log rule or exponential rules. Once we find the antiderivative of the simple integral in terms of u, we put the result back in terms of the original variable, whether it be x or t or whatever. Our method was first we identified u, that was our inside function, then we figured out what our du dx was, that's the derivative of the inside so we can identify what part of our function that's inside our integral is the inside function and what part is the derivative of the inside. We solve for dx, we put the integral in terms of u, getting rid of the original variable, we get rid of all those x's or all those t's or z's or whatever the original variable was, find the antiderivative and back substitute. So the question is, what happens if the variable does not cancel out in step four? Because this can happen. So what do we do? So let's look at an example of what can happen and how we can sometimes solve that problem. So here we have an antiderivative, an indefinite integral that we need to find. And the first thing I probably would do is rewrite that square root as a power. So I'm going to have t times t minus 4 to the 1 half power dt. Now, let's run through our steps. First, we would figure out, well, what would we choose for our inside function? And my guess is that our inside function is this t minus 4. So I'm going to let u equal t minus 4. So that's step 1. Step 2, we're going to find du dt. So the derivative of our u is going to be just 1. Step 3, we're going to solve for dt. So if you multiply both sides by dt, you get du equals dt. So those first three steps are now done. They were pretty easy. Now let's start working on step 4. So when we go to put this in terms of u, the t just stays there. I have u to the 1 half power, and then dt is just du. Notice here that I still have this t, and there's no t down here to cancel it out. So I can't move on. I can't start doing the antiderivative until I get this whole thing to be in terms of u. So let's look at what I have right here. I have u equals t minus 4. And I need to write this t here in terms of u. So I could actually solve this for t. I'd have u plus 4 equals t. And so this thing right here, I can put this right there. So let's do that. We have u plus 4 times u to the 1 half du. Now I've put this integral all in terms of u, so I've completed step 4. So if you find that not all of your original variable will cancel out, see if you can use this technique of solving the original substitution for your variable so you can put it in terms of u. Let's actually compute this antiderivative. Before I start trying to do the my antiderivative, the first thing I want to do is I want to rewrite this. I want to distribute this u to the 1 half to both terms. So that gives me u to the 3 halves plus 4u to the 1 half du. All I did was I distributed that, that u to the 1 half. Now I'm ready to do my antiderivative. So I'm going to have u to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves plus 4u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus c. 
So I've found my antiderivative. I want to simplify this before I move on though. Now remember, if you're dividing by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is going to be 2 fifths u to the 5 halves plus 4 times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Let's go ahead and back substitute now. So I'm going to have 2 fifths times t minus 4 to the 5 halves plus multiplying those I have 8 thirds I have t minus 4 to the 3 halves plus c. Now if you go to check this you're going to have to do a little bit of simplification work in order to get to this original integrand but it, it's doable. This is our correct answer here and the key here is if the t's don't or the original variable doesn't all cancel out what you do is you look back at your original u and see if there's a way to solve for it so you can put it in terms of u. That's it for this video. See you next time.